What's up guys, it's Big with the Donut, and I am back with another reaction video for Guilty Gear Strive. Today we have Bedman question marks theme song to listen to, and from the sneak peek, I am very scared because I have such high expectations for it, but then the one comment got me, got me doubting. Fun fact, this entire theme is already out on Spotify, and I don't even know what to say about it. Well, Mao, dude, I'm scared. I had really high expectations. I liked a lot from what we got in the sneak peek, but you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and fuck it. We're gonna listen to her song. It's called The Circle, so that's pretty interesting. All right, right away. Slap bass, slight distortion. That's pretty groovy. I like this part. Okay. We're getting a little bit of drums coming in. Ah! That's the part I love. All right, this is a bit of a stretch of a, of a relation I can come up with, but like Led Zeppelin, if you guys know them, Jimmy Page makes a lot of crazy ass sounds with his guitar. This kind of reminded me of that. We got a bit of a, of a, of a dive bomb, um, some Wawa shit, I believe. Uh, not Wawa, whammy bar shit. But uh, yeah, that was pretty groovy. I might go slow, kind of like Ramlethal. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That was groovy. I'm scared. I feel kind of violated. Stop talking to me like that, please. Okay. Very psychedelic. You can hear like that one instrument, but it's like a psychedelic thing, like. Okay, picking up. Copy that. Okay, chorus. Thank you for saving me. The classic, classic dice game moment. If you know what I mean with Guilty Gear Strive, there's, the, there's that certain vibe that he gives in every single song, right? That certain vibe with like the chord progression. I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I literally can't explain it, but there's a certain vibe that he always has. And that's that was it. I'll, I'll go ahead and replay it if you want to listen. Right here. Right here. I think I have a fucking gnarly riff. The guitar. Ooh, drums. Okay, I don't feel as violated anymore. The drums are making me happy. I think it's doing a good job of capturing the duality between the the girl, um, Avatar girl, and with the bed man. Copy that. Okay. Fast game moment. With the anime guitar. I love that guitar part. Keeping it palm muted, going riffy. I'm sorry. You just yelled at me. Did I say something bad? Radio moments kind of reminds me of Nago. This is very quieter. Okay. Near autom automata vibes. You got that sense of the factory shit. Oh, we have that one uh, psychedelic instrument back. I don't know what it's called, but I hear it a lot of psychedelic music.
Huh. Okay, I'm just making sure my mic's working. I got scared. Oh, I love that. Tragic guitar with some fucking evil badassery. Oh, the synth! I hear synth! Or organ? Okay. Mm. I like the chorus. Sorry, I had to skip a moment. Been playing too much of Mooring. I'm here too, man. I'm here too. This is worship music now. We're in church. Oh, that's it. Okay, well, immediate reactions. Um, if I had to give it a tier list based on first impression, uh, I'd say A tier. Not S tier, because the verses, as the, much as I liked it, it wasn't all there. Like, I had super high expectations for this, just from, like, the sneak peeks, because I'm a big glazer for guitar, like I said. But, um, yeah, I think it was really good. Um, I'm going to have to, like, listen to the song more, because it, it, it has it, like, fully ingrained with me. There was a lot of changing parts throughout here. Um, with some really, uh, with a really nice little guitar solo. <gasps> there wasn't crazy guitar solo. I can learn it. Yes. But yeah, I liked it. I think I felt like there was a lot of duality, which I think he does. Um, Daisuke does intentionally do because we saw that with Zato's theme, right? You know, there's obviously Eddie and Zato. Um, here I did feel some duality with her, and then he, uh, uh, it. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, he's got a crown on. But yeah, I got some um duality moments from these two folk. And uh, I feel like the chorus was a really good kind of like um, bringing it together in a sense. And uh, yeah, I'd give it an A, not an S, because obviously I feel like the verse could have been stronger for me personally. This is my personal take. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Where would you personally tier list? Like in your own personal tier list, where would you guys put it? And um, uh, yeah, have a great one, guys.